Today, let's do something completely different and turn this cat image into this with just a little bit of Lightroom editing. As always, to follow along, you can find a link to download this raw file in the description of the video. And now, let's begin. So here we have our raw file. And what I want to do for this shot is I want to separate the cat from the background and make everything except for the cat look much more gray, dark and dramatic. As always, we're going to start this with some basic adjustments. So right away, I want to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard to lessen the overall contrast of the image a little bit. And then let's work on the white balance. Taking a closer look at the image, you can see we do have a very, very heavy blue color cast. You can see it especially in the white part of the fur of the cat. So to fix that problem, all we need to do is to bring up the temperature until it looks more natural. So I'm going to raise it quite a bit right around here. That looks much better. While I'm adjusting the white balance, I'm only focusing on the cat. I don't care for the background or the foreground because those are areas I'm going to change later on with some masking. Those are areas which I want to be almost black and white. So that's the reason for me to not care about the white balance in those areas. But before we can do that, we want to get the base exposure right. At the moment, looking at this program, you can see this is a super, super dark shot. I want to change that. I'm going to bring up the highlights. This will mostly affect the cat. I'm also going to bring up the shadows. This helps quite a bit with this dark scene. I'm also going to bring up the whites. And as I push the whites, keep in mind, we don't want to overexpose anything. So keep a close eye on the histogram. But this is looking good so far. I'm also going to bring up the blacks. And all these adjustments I just have done will lessen the contrast of this image even further. But don't worry about that for now. We're going to add back contrast later on with a bit of masking. Okay, I also want to bring up the texture to add a little bit of sharpness. I'm going to add some clarity to give the image a little more punch. And I'm going to bring down the dehaze just to create some kind of dreamy look for this whole scene. And then I'm going to slightly bump up the vibrance. This again is mainly for the colors of the cat's fur. Okay, so that's the image after the basic adjustments. We can compare to before real quick. And you can see, thanks to the adjusted white balance, everything looks much more natural with the removed blue color cast and the exposure looks also much, much better when taking a closer look on the cat. Now we want to separate the cat from the background, make it pop and also make it really, really dark and dramatic. So we are going to do that with a bit of masking open up the masking panel and let's start with something simple. Since we have a super clear subject in this case, we can click on select background and this will select everything except for that cat, as you can see. Now, what I want to do with this whole area is to make it a lot darker. So let's bring down the exposure and right away, you can see how this will make the cat stand out a lot more. I'm also going to bring down the shadows. If you take a look at this program, you can see this will increase under exposure. But for this particular case, I don't really care. I think this looks great this way. I'm also going to bring down the whites, making it even darker this way. And I'm going to bring down the blacks as well. All right, that looks awesome. I do want to bring down the contrast. So the whole background will look a bit softer this way. And I also want to make the background a little colder and just change up the colors a bit. So I'm going to bring down the temperature. This way we can create some very nice color contrast between the orange cat and the dark blue background. I'm also going to bring up the saturation just a little bit so we can see the color in the background. Then I am going to drop the texture to make the background smoother. And I'm also going to bring down the clarity for the same effect. Wonderful. And as you can see, with just one mask, we have completely transformed this image, bringing the focus more on the cat. That looks perfect. Now I want to create another background mask. 
This time I do want to further modify this selection. So let's click on the mask and choose subtract. I'm going to subtract the foreground just like this. And I'm also going to say subtract linear gradient and take away a part from the top right corner because this is an area where I later on want to create some kind of light effect. So light coming in from that area. Okay, with that selection, I'm going to further bring down the exposure and just further bring up the contrast between background and cat. All right, this looks great. Now let's work on the cat itself. For that, we can simply use select subject and we get a pretty good selection for that. We can further modify it by subtracting those weird things in the foreground. But other than that, this looks fine. So what I want to do here is to bring up the temperature, giving the cat more warmth this way. I'm also going to bring up the saturation so we can see all these nice orange tones. And let's bring up texture. And let's bring up clarity. Wonderful. I also want to focus on the eyes of the cat. For that, we do have to zoom in a bit. And then let's go back into the mask panel. I'm going to choose the objects mask right here. Make sure rectangle mode is selected. And now I'm just going to draw a rectangle around one eye. That's looking pretty good. Then let's move over a bit. Go back to the masking panel. And I'm going to add another objects mask and just select the other eye this way. So that's looking pretty good. What I want to do with those eyes is to bring up the exposure like this. I'm also going to bring up the contrast. Then let's bring up the whites. And I want to introduce some clarity. Wonderful. We can play around with the colors a bit with the white balance. So we could bring down the temperature, making these eyes a little colder. So right around here. And we can also play around with the tint, maybe give them a more greenish look. Something like this. I do think the saturation is a bit much, so I'm also going to drop the saturation in this case. Maybe let's bring up the temperature just a bit so those eyes are not too cold. Okay, that's it for the eyes. Now let's create a linear gradient for the foreground, just like this. And I want to say subtract subject to not affect the cat. What I want to do in this area is I want to bring out more structure. So I'm going to bring up the clarity all the way and I'm also adding some texture just so we have some more details to focus on in this scene. Then let's work on the light effect coming in from the top. For that, I'm going to use a radial gradient and I'm going to make it really, really big like this. I'm not sure what's going on, but I lost the handles for the radial gradient, probably pressed some kind of shortcut. Still, I think you get the idea. I'm placing the radial gradient in a way that it comes down from the top like this. Now I want to say subtract and choose subject because I only want to affect the area behind the subject, not the cat itself. And in here, I'm going to bring up the exposure. I'm going to raise it quite a bit so this light effect will become more visible. I'm also going to bring up the blacks, kind of raising the brightness in a very soft way. All right. And I want to add another radial gradient and make it a little thinner this time. Now again, I want to say subdirect, select subject, and then let's add some more specific highlights in this area by bringing up the exposure. Wonderful. And that's it for the masking adjustments. Let me deactivate the masks for a moment so you can see the difference. That's where we started with a bunch of basic adjustments. And that's the image after the masking. Looks totally different. And now let's continue with a bit of color grading. So I want to do this in the color mixer. I want to work on the saturation for a moment, bringing up orange. Let's also bring up yellow. And at the same time, I want to bring down green because we do have these green colors in the background, which are a little too overwhelming for my taste. I'm also going to bring down the blue saturation and let's bring down aqua as well. Just a little bit like this. Okay, this looks great. 
Then let's switch over to the luminance tab. Here I want to bring down the orange luminance and I think I want to bring down the yellow luminance, which will just affect the colors of the cat a bit. Wonderful. And let's bring up the blue luminance, which will make the background just slightly brighter. Okay, finally, let's head into the calibration tab. Here I want to play around a bit. I'm, I'm going to bring down the red primary hue slightly. I'm going to bring up the green one. And I'm going to drop the blue primer hue, hue quite a bit, which will have a great effect on the orange color of the cat's fur. So I think this looks pretty good. We can further bring up the saturation some more in this case, just making the cat stand out a little more. And that's it for the color grading. Awesome. Now all that's left to do is a bit of sharpening in the details tab. And as always, I'm using the same settings. Let's bring down the radius, increase the details, Hold down the Alt key while applying the masking, so only the cat will get sharpened like this. And now let's bring up the amount of sharpening. Done. And here we have the finished image. So although this was something completely different, I think the editing for this shot was super, super interesting, made a lot of fun. If you have any questions or if you want to add anything, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.